Along the northern border pipeline, every 55 miles or so, there is a compressor pushing natural gas from Canada to Illinois. Those uh, gas turbines are like a jet plane's engine and uh, they burn gas in order to, um, to run. Those are uh, gas turbines and they emit hot air, 900 degrees, um, a lot of volume and usually it just goes out of the stack into the atmosphere. Now, at several compressor stations, that hot air doesn't get lost to the atmosphere. It's being put to work to generate electricity. In the late 1990s, a subsidiary of Ormat Technologies developed the heat recovery unit, like you see here near Culbertson, Montana. This one is going operational in December 2009. This is the eighth heat recovery unit that Basin Electric has a purchase power agreement with. Each one makes about 5.5 megawatts, so that's 44 megawatts total that Basin Electric has in recovered energy generation. The units have zero or near zero emissions. So this is the green energy that utilizes heat that usually will just be um, going into the atmosphere and producing power out of it. The units are located right beside the compressor station. Ormat's construction manager, Emery Hakoen, says the boiler takes the heat from the exhaust of the gas turbine to heat thermal oil. This thermal oil flows from the compressor station into our unit and uh, pumps the heat, brings it in here, and this is how we use this heat to produce power. The heat recovery units are controlled by ORMAT Technologies from stations in Nevada and California. They can start up the unit, close the unit. We have uh, um, CCTVs, uh, closed circuit TVs here, so they can see everything that's going on here. There are maintenance crews located along the pipeline to service the units when needed. They are um, producing as long as the compressor station is running, and we're talking, I think, about 90% availability. But yes, as long as the, gas, the heat source is running, we will run. On this cold December day, they're getting the unit on the grid. Near Culbertson, Montana, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen for Basin Electric.